Hey guys. I'm Sarah. I'm Caitlin. And we are your best friends. Welcome back to our channel. Ooh, this tea is spicy. Wow, was that a foretelling of what this video will be like? I didn't even mean that. Yes, the tea in this video will be spicy and the tea that we are drinking has a little kick to it. Get ready because this video is how to have the best the best high school relationship. Y'all, if you want the true answers to relationship goals, you want the answer to how to get this aesthetic life and get your relational needs met and all that, you need to stick around. Especially if you've been told like, you've been discouraged and you've been told like, no, just no to relationships, it's all bad, it's all this. You need to stick around from start to finish because we are gonna help you with all things cute high school relationships. Yeah, especially if you have parents that just don't let you date and you're like, but why? We're gonna help you, okay? Because it's not just no, but we gotta spill the tea and get real with you. Yeah. So subscribe to our channel, join our friend group. We love you guys. Yes. Let's get started. First, we're gonna talk about why you need to watch this video. And the truth is that high school relationships actually matter a lot. We got a lot of advice out there that says things like high school relationships don't last or it's just like all for fun, it doesn't matter. Like just meet someone that makes you happy. You guys are gonna break up anyway, all this stuff. We're gonna tell you a few reasons why high school relationships matter, but one of the most practical reasons that I can give you is that a lot of the times, more often than you think, high school relationships actually last which is contrary to what I was told. Now, a lot of them do break up pretty quickly, okay? Some of them are like hit and miss, but I still know couples who have been like together and breaking up and getting back together since middle school. And I'm 23 now and they still, like there's drama, like, oh, they're back together again. It's not always for the healthiest reasons. Sometimes these people, they have sex and that bonds them and things get toxic, so it pulls them back in. Sometimes it's for a great reason. I'm dating my boyfriend from high school and that's gonna be the person that I'm gonna marry. I mean, that's pretty crazy, guys. The person that you date in high school, you might actually marry or you might be with them for a long time, for better or for worse. Or it can really damage your future relationships because you made some mistakes based off of things you didn't know. So we're not dumb here. This matters a lot for your future. Yeah. In the Bible, it says if he comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and we won't even know if we're getting robbed if we don't even know that there's a thief. And the reason that we bring this part up in this video about cute relationships and how to have a cute relationship in high school and all the things that you dream about, we're gonna get into it all. The reason we're mentioning thieves though is because you have to recognize it's not all just like face value what you see. If we make some decisions and if we don't realize and think about why we're making these decisions, like we will end up getting robbed much longer than just high school. Like yep. in the same way that some relationships can stay for a long, long time after high school, a lot of the things that we decide to do in high school and that we decide to give up or the choices we make, they will last much longer than even a relationship ever will. And so if you don't know that, cause we just think high school is just this fun time. Most of people's trauma comes from elementary, middle school and high school. Like once you're an adult, you're dealing with your trauma from then. So your high school time is actually so much more valuable and who you date, who you kiss, who you have sex with, all of these things, it matters. Even if that person isn't the person you still talk to or whatever, it's gonna even affect the way that you date in the future. So we wanna get into the halt, like everything, but first you have to know some of y'all are gonna be so robbed if you don't hear what we're gonna say in this video. So this video is not going to say don't date, no dating, like dating's bad, boys are bad, or if you're a boy, girls are bad. This video is you need to date smart and here's why. And we're not gonna be unrealistic here. Everyone wants a boyfriend or girlfriend in high school, like we did. It's fun, it's something you think about, like your friends talk about it, it's a thing, but we gotta get smart because it matters. Yes, now with what you're saying, you're saying everybody wants one. I think it's important, let's go into why. Why might they want one? Yeah. Why might you want a girlfriend or a boyfriend right now? Well, we're about to get into it. That is right, because it ain't necessarily natural. Exactly. Here's the crazy shocker. The reason why you might want what you think you want is actually for some unhealthy desires. When I say unhealthy, it's actually not, unhealthy doesn't mean negative. It just means they were like, these desires aren't the most natural. They're not the most like, they came out of thin air and they're so pure. 
their artificial their desires. artificial desires meaning from movies you've watched from music you listen to like hate to say it but a great example would be like olivia rodrigo like you listen to songs from her and all of a sudden you're in a vibe all of a sudden you want this or you're mad about this or you see on instagram or tiktok or twitter you're absorbing like what you think relationships look like and all of a sudden now you have a desire now you have a dream now you have a fantasy in your head and we have no idea if that fantasy is actually reality like if it's even possible but because of a quick clip or maybe because of a song or a, the way that a beat made you feel, now you feel like this is a desire that can be met. This is a dream that you're waiting to come true. So we want to recognize why we even desire what we want because I think even for me personally, something that's really sad to come to terms with is some of my dreams might never come true and that's because some of those dreams aren't even realistic. The dreams that will come true will be even better than my unrealistic ones because they'll include real people, real life stuff. But some of the fantasies I have in my head, like like a guy like just chasing after you, pursuing you, even after you've told him no a billion times and him coming after you, like Total that's movie in the movie. movies. If you tell a guy no, he might literally leave you alone because you said no. <laughs> this is a person. Yeah. A lot of movies and especially music. I mean, I feel like music is so underrated when we talk about this because it is a whole vibe. They implant lies in our mind about what relationships are supposed to look like or what true love is. And a lie that I fell for is that passion or drama equals true love. I used to watch Gossip Girl, okay? I think people still watch Gossip Girl on Netflix. Definitely. It's all this drama. It's all this drama and it's like this idea that the best love is like the crazy love and, and when a guy, when you guys are fighting, like there's some type of like romance in drama and what's really happening is you take that into your real life and then you have like a toxic relationship. Basically. Or you have an unhealthy relationship and you will romanticize it and think like, wow, like we have this crazy story. We're really meant for each other simply because of lies that were implanted in us from TV or from music or from movies. Yeah. So don't get your idea of a good relationship from those things because passion does not equal drama. So I just want to say that's one thing that I personally fell for. And there's a lot, a lot of other ones. Sarah yeah. just mentioned one too. Like a guy needs to like go crazy after you say no fighting for you. Like that's also not healthy because he's not even respecting your no. Yeah, I highly recommend asking yourself, what are my unhealthy desires? God will actually help you if you're open to hearing what you believe is reality when it's not. It came from this world. Yes. Now we're going to move into the juice. The qualities that you need to look for in a potential partner. And I'm going to be honest, a lot of these are not the qualities that you might even be thinking of, or you might brush off some of these, but most of these are pretty much critical. And these will say more about whether or not your person is the one, or it's a healthy relationship than what your relationship looks like, or whether or not it's cute. Basically, contrary to even what I used to think, you're less looking for somebody who is like this dream human. You're actually looking for a guy or a girl who can be your friend. Like especially in high school, you guys are probably even on YouTube like getting advice on all of like what they should be or whatnot. The number one thing in high school is you wanna pick a, let's say I'm talking to the girls right now, but guys apply it to the other sex. You wanna pick a guy who's like your friend in high school. Somebody you can enjoy hanging out with. They like to hang out with you and your family. They like to hang out with you and your friends. They like to hang out with their friends, your friends, and you. If they're wanting you to just be you and them, huge red flag, especially in high school. Like red flag, I'm not even playing around with that. If they want it to just be, or even if you wanna be alone with them, Girl, guys, stop. No. That is unhealthy. It's setting yourself up for failure in the future. Like, how is anybody gonna know if something unhealthy is going on? How's anybody gonna know if there's any abuse or like gaslighting or anything if like it's just between you guys? If it's a friendship, you guys can hang around other people. Like, what's there to hide? Why do you need to just be alone? Because odds are, if you're just alone, it's so you can do physical things. Yep. I mean, like, we're not talking about you can't hang out alone in your house, but if there's a vibe that it just needs to be you two, for That's whatever unhealthy. reason. Maybe he doesn't get along with your friends. Maybe he complains about your friends. Maybe yeah. he says like, oh, like, can it just be us tonight? Like yes. every time. Yes, and if that's you, check yourself too. I ain't gonna date somebody like that. So apply this however you need to apply it to yourself and the person that you are looking for. Because when you get married, you'll have a lot of alone time. So there's no need for it right now. It doesn't make any sense. 
to other good ones. Mm -hmm. They are not using drugs and alcohol to have fun. And they really, really desire to wait for marriage to have sex because they care about their spouse, their future wife or husband enough to save that for that person. Y'all might not be husband and wife, might not be you two. So why don't you care enough about your future spouse to wait and he or her do the same thing? I think even in high school, middle school, we can make those choices. We can decide I want to, um, keep that to be something special. Even if you've already messed up, we can always redo it. Um, and that is something that's really wonderful to find in a friend, in a future, in a potential girlfriend or boyfriend. So now you might want to know, okay, so you've told me what to look for. You told me why it's important to even be aware of all of my desires. So what should I be doing? Cause I'm still single. I'm still desiring these things, which honey, we know that's okay. We're telling you it's not bad to want this cute relationship. So what should you spend your time doing now? Well, let me tell you a few things. One, start reading your Bible. Maybe you're bored, which I remember being bored uber lots in high school, especially in the summer times. Read your Bible. Start reading your Bible at least once a day. Spend some of that bored time reading. Now, another fun thing. If you can do this earlier on, you've already beat me at it. Start praying. Praying is amazing because God answers prayers. It's not a matter of if he's going to answer, it's how is he going to answer. Meaning it's not always how you actually expect it, but he always is answering. So start praying. Start praying for your family, your friends. Pray for that person in school. Pray for your crush. Maybe God will change your heart and you'll start to see, uh, no, that crush is not good for you. They got some struggles right now in life. Pray for them as a human being start praying another thing is if you don't have you know like one to two good friends of the same sex that you can have fun with i suggest start actually investing more of your dream life into that into wanting more friendships like that we have a lot of videos on that but guys if like if we want a boyfriend or a girlfriend but we don't even have like the same sex friendships right now you just it's not that healthy you kind of want to have some people to have fun with that you might not feel tempted to like do things with and stuff mm -hmm. like that so there's that and then lastly start focusing on who you are as a human being right are you a person who all you're thinking about all day long is you or are you thinking about others so that's a fun mission. Start thinking how to be a better daughter, how to be a better friend, how to be a better coworker, okay? Start thinking about fun ways to start thinking about other people because we wanna value other people. Other people in this world are struggling. Like, it's so weird. Like when I encourage somebody, it almost seems like they haven't heard encouragement in so long. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. I don't get encouragement all the time. So they probably haven't either. There's so many fun things we can be doing before we even get this relationship. You're gonna find that a lot of people in high school don't meet your standards. They don't meet them or they're not. It's not gonna be a healthy relationship because the truth is that most people, and I'm not gonna say most people in high school, I'm gonna say most people in general actually aren't even mature enough to handle a relationship. And that's not to say that you need to find someone perfect, but remember what you want. It's not just to like have cute Instagram photos and to have a good time and to just have someone to do life with because you don't need a boyfriend or a girlfriend for that. What you want is like to be happy and to have a good life and to be at peace and to walk with God. It's okay to be picky. It's okay to be patient. It's okay to go on a date with the guy and then realize, you know what? Actually, he's super popular, he's cool, he's fun, but you know, it's he's not for me. I'm not feeling the peace right now. So just wanna encourage you like, these qualities in a person might be rare and you might even find as you do some of the things that Sarah's saying that you're personally not ready. Like that's okay if that's the case, it's a big deal. That's why we're telling you all of these things because it matters and your life matters. So don't feel extra for being picky or for having these standards or feeling like no one can, no one at your school is ready for this right now because it's just kind of the way life is. Most people, they don't figure it out. They're a little immature. Yes, and also too though, the nice thing is that if you bring it full circle, if you're just looking for the opposite sex to be friends with, you can't go wrong because friends, you're not doing these physical things. Mm -hmm. Friends, you're not like trying to like just have this relationship. You're just hanging out. Like you guys enjoy each other as human. So if you keep that in the forefront of your mind, I mean like even you and your boyfriend in high school, like you guys just spent time together, you were friends and stuff. And obviously you've grown so much since then, but like 
if you can just be friends with the opposite sex, you are in such a good place. It's when we start believing that making out, taking these sexy pictures, like going on these vacations, just you two in high school or like Tumblr or like Twitter shows you, it's when we start living to what the world is showing us is a cute relationship, that's when it starts getting dangerous because that's not real. Like that'll steal so much from you. But if y'all are doing this whole friendship thing, you can't go wrong. Just hang out and have fun like us kids were meant to, yeah. you know? Technically, your boyfriend or girlfriend in high school should just be your friend. And even when you're an adult, they should just be your friend until one day you guys are married and then it's different. But, and then your friends married, yeah. friends raising kids. But don't turn it into a marriage or into something that it's not because that is all just stuff that's been implanted in us. And I think that's the point of the video is to check your perspective on what a best high school relationship even looks like because it's definitely not what we're being sold. If you guys have not already invited Jesus Christ into your life, you should think about it because if you think about who made the world and you think about what the point of this life is, Maybe you haven't thought about it for a long time, but there is a creator of the whole universe. His name is God Almighty. As human beings, we are sinful because like we've fallen into a state like where we're just not up to God's par. And he sent Jesus Christ to die for our sins so we could be in good standing with him. And when I mess up, which I mess up all the time, I'm probably worse than you. God's grace is enough for me and I can walk in joy. And I, it's important to add something like that after a video about relationships and stuff because just want to remind you of your perspective, like you were saying perspective, that life is so much more than like these nitty gritty things. Like there's so much more. There's so much more. And if you would just think about the gospel, about Jesus Christ first and foremost, oh, how he would love to lead you into the life that is truly fulfilling for you. He knows you better than you know you. So you best want to get on train with him instead of like what movies are showing you. Like it took like a year to film a movie. Like it's very uh, scripty. It's not real. God, he created it all. So we want to do life with him. With that, you know, we also talk about sex. We talk about dating the right way. And we talk about how the wrong way can make a lot of damage for the next few years. And the only one who can really repair that damage who can give you a clean slate and so that even if you've made some of the worst mistakes, you do not have to live with those mistakes. That's Jesus. So it's so important to talk about because in everything that we're talking about this video, there's redemption, there's restoration, there is a new life for you no matter what you've done. But the only way we get to that is through God. If we're coming down hard or you're feeling this guilt or frustration because maybe you haven't done this dating thing the right way, that's all right, but that's why we have to throw this in there at the end because that's kind of how you live without the pain of regret. Because we all make mistakes. We all have things we could technically be regretful about, but God gives us a new hope and a new life and redemption for all of our past mess ups. So that's why it's so important to talk about when it comes to dating. Yeah, with that being said, y'all, we have so many videos that'll go more in depth on all of this. So make sure to check it out. Please subscribe to our channel and join our friend group. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.